Do you think I could vlog daily? I've really wanted to start a daily vlog for a long time now. The thing that's standing in the way is figuring out a way to effectively run my business while daily vlogging um, is not an easy feat. That being said, I think that baby steps in that direction are important. So this is why today, on Wednesday, you're seeing another vlog. I can't do daily vlogs yet, but in the meantime, I'm gonna do two vlogs a week. All right, we're going to the skate shop. I'm letting Shiloh pick out my gear. The theme of this video is chickens. Yeah. <laughs> right. So if you watch our vlog, you know that we bought three baby chicks that all turned out to be roosters. We had to donate them to a shop that's near us uh, who finds new homes for roosters. Meanwhile, my in-laws, they adopted four chickens, four baby chicks, three of which turned out to be roosters as well. My in-laws are left with a lonely one chicken. They need company, they need companionship. I'm not sure if this is true, but I think chickens can just die of loneliness. So that might be true. So we're going to my parents today because they have a plethora of chickens. We're gonna pluck one of their chickens out of their coop, implant it into my in-laws chicken coop, hoping that uh, we can provide a companion for their poor lonely chicken. Oh. Gosh. Hairball caught on film. Hey, Gross. nobody wants to see that. I did show it. Don't show it. And everyone loved it. Who, who came to visit? Peter Pan. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go make one happy chicken. You guys ready? I thought they were in here. Try that again. <sighs> That's better. There they are. Why do my kids smell like hippies? Did you put essential oil hey, on our kids? Get out your hair. Smells like cloves in here. Is that cloves? There is cloves. Is it cloves I'm smelling? Nature shield. Nature shield. With the flu season coming on. Girl, are you a hippie? Peter has a disguise on. Okay, we have arrived at my parents' house. We are gonna go wrangle a chicken. Lead the way. Oh my gosh. What? That was a vicious stick. Almost got you. Okay. Yeah, I'll go grab her. Uh, that was Why didn't you do idea. it? You chickened out. Jeez. Oh my gosh! She looks like a girl too. and we're 80% sure it's actually a chicken. Yeah, she seems very nice. <laughs> no way. For real? Let me see that. It's a rock. No, it's an egg. Yeah, it was like right here. Where did you find that? What is it? It's an egg. I'm going for a tennis ball out of a coyote's mouth at 75 yards. You got it? Oh, he did get it. <laughs> that one goes up on the wall. Thanks for volunteering. We're going to bring you to a new home now. We got the chicken here. We're going to let her uh, become acquainted. They're gonna establish their pecking order, probably fight, but hopefully by tomorrow after they sleep in the coops together, they'll get along. That was 
was a success. You never know when you're introducing a chicken to a coop if they're gonna get along, and they totally did. I think because it's just the one-on-one -on -one thing, they're getting along. Yeah. She's like, here's my watering can. She's like, come here, let me show you. Here's how we get in here. Cute. Have you lost interest in this whole thing? Sleepy's especially happy because she was very sad to know that that chicken was in this coop by itself for a few days. They're gonna be best friends. BFFs, two chicks in a coop. That sounds like a commercial, like the ha that happy family spreading um, happiness of one chicken at a time. It sounds like. One chicken at a time. That happy family spreading happiness one chicken at a time.